Hello everybody, my name is Colin3639, welcome back to another video. Today in this one it's going to be another dueling video, and in this one it's going to be Lyralisk versus uh, Drytron. Yeah, it's a very interesting duel here, you know, Drytron of course being one of the best uh, decks in today's current format, you know, Diviner of Herald, Ava just being an absolutely broken card, you know, everyone knows about Drytron, they set up very dumb end boards as well, everyone knows about the Drytrons, but the Lyralisk, however... Uh, is a new one because they got their new support in the legendary Duel of Synchro Storm a couple days ago And now they became this deck that can basically spam out XYZ monsters and stuff like that And I'm very much enjoying it as well I did make a deck profile on that if you do want to see that I'll put it in the link of the description down below But without further ado though, let's get straight into uh, the duel here So uh, yeah, I think uh, Drytron player actually uh, ended up uh, winning the die roll here, so he will uh, choose to go first here. And looking at the starting hands, just real quick, we'll look at the Lyralist hand. We got an Ash Blossom, a Lyralist Barrel Canary, a Forbidden Droplet, a Warbler, and a Wagtail. And for the Drytron player, we got Diviner of Herald, Zeta, Orange Light, Cyber Emergency, and a Beta, which not a lot of people or Drytron players are playing. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight in to the duel here, and we'll go standby main phase. We'll go ahead and uh, activate that cyber emergency here. We'll go ahead and add Alpha Thuban. And then we'll do uh, Alpha's effect, tribute the Zeta here. And then we'll summon out Alpha. Alpha will, of course, search the Ben 10. And then we'll do uh, Zeta effect here, tribute that Ben 10. Uh, summon out Zeta. And then some, uh, add the ritual spell to him. And then we'll do uh, Ben 10's effect trigger here. Uh, he always has a Diviner and Orange Light, so he'll just add another Orange Light here. We'll overlay it to Mu Beta Fafnir, trigger the effect of Mu Beta Fafnir, and um, dump ourselves the Gamma. And then we'll activate the Ritual Cell, detach to summon Ben 10, and then we'll do Gamma's effect here to tribute the Ben 10 off. And then we'll go ahead and uh, summon out that Gamma, and we'll summon out a Zeta as well. And then we'll trigger the Ben 10 effect, since it was tributed here, uh, to go ahead and add ourselves another Orange Light. And then we'll go ahead and do the Ritual Spell effect, at, uh, target the Zeta and add the hand. Then we'll normal summon the, uh, the Diviner, declare the effect here. We'll send the uh, Arc Light. Arc Light will add the Ultimus to him. We'll activate the Ritual Cell, summon out the Ultimus. We'll go into a Link 2, make IP. And then we'll go into another Link 2, make the Verte and Akanda. And then we'll trigger the effect of Verte, send the Red Eyes Fusion, pay 2k and stuff to summon out the Dragoon here. And then he will pass with that. Uh, again, just very, very interesting end board here. Uh, you know, everyone knows that three orange light as well in hand is kind of dumb as well. But yeah, uh, I uh, the, the Lailist player uh, does draw Valor, which is me in this case. Uh, so in the main phase, we'll go ahead and special summon the Warbler, trigger the effect to special summon. He's okay with that. We'll summon out the War, or uh, yeah, the Wagtail, trigger its effect here. And then we'll actually actually activate Ultimus here. I Forbidden Droplet send Ash Blossom, Effect Varler, and Barrel Canary to negate Dragoon, Ultimus, and IP Mascarena. So don't have to worry. The only negation I have to worry about is the orange light I know he has in hand. So I go into an overlay. Uh, before I overlay, though, uh, he wants to read Lyralist Bird Call. So I summon out the monsters. I let him read the bird call real quick. And then I go into an overlay, make ourselves the Rect Rectal Starling. Uh, or Recital Starling, my bad. Well, he will activate Orange Light on it to negate and destroy it. I'll activate Bird Call, search the Barrel Canary here. And then we'll go ahead and activate Barrel Canary to special summon him, uh, herself out. Summon out a Warbler as well. Go into an Overlay. Make an Assembled Nightingale. Trigger Wagtail's effect to attach it under as well. We'll go Battle Phase. Attack for... Uh, this is actually 600 per attack. So he's going to take 1,800... Uh, or... My bad, it's 800 per attack because the uh, Barrel Canary is giving it 200 more attack here. So he's going to take 2400 damage from this uh, battle. I do have to tell him that. So he takes uh, 16 and then he will take 200 more for each one. And then we'll go into a Zeus here. And then we'll trigger Zeus effect just to clear the board out. And just with one card in hand, hopefully he just does not have anything. Draws into a Nova, goes uh, Nova effect, uh, summon out the... the um, 
uh, delta from deck here. And actually here, I do think because um, I'm thinking, okay, if he does, if the card in hand is not a card he contribute for one of the Drytron monsters, I can uh, Zeus here and he's basically going to end his turn. But if he has the extender, then I'm basically dead anyways. So I, I go ahead and uh, trigger the Zeus effect here and just uh, tell him, better have it, you know what I mean. Uh, but as you can see, he has the beta in hand. So he goes alpha, tribute the beta. Uh, alpha will go ahead and search the Idioton here. And then I will go ahead and just admit defeat there. Um, yeah. Uh, very interesting. Again, I was just putting him on. You better have it. So I Zeus the uh, Drytron on field just to say you better have it in hand uh, because I was kind of fucked either way. Because if I let the card on field, he will just start gaining advantages and stuff like that. So I think that was just the best decision, and it ended up not working for me because he did have the beta. You know, one of the few Drytron players who actually pay <clears throat> beta in their deck, but uh, you can't judge that. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into game two though. Uh, if uh, the siding will actually take a little bit here. Uh, so, uh, you know, you have to side well against the Drytron. So I will end up choosing to go first here. And we'll, we'll draw five for turn. Of course, we'll look at the starting hands. Uh, for the letter list, we have Called by the Grave, uh, Cobalt Sparrow, Sapphire Swallow, Mist Valley Apex Avian, and Jack in the Hand. And then for the Al uh, Drytron player, we have Alpha, Droll, Nova, uh, Gamma, and then Droll. So... Um, very interesting, uh, what we're going to do here. Uh, so he will go ahead and go standby main phase here. We'll go Jack in the Hand effect. Uh, we'll reveal Warbler, reveal, uh, B Barrel Canary and the Cobalt Sparrow here. He will add Cobalt Sparrow to hand. We'll add a Warbler to hand and then shuffle the Sapphire Swallow. He attempts to draw a Called By and then he draws on the Called By. So, damn, that is, uh, unfortunately just how that's going to resolve. So Droll will resolve here. Cannot add from uh, deck anymore. We'll do Warbler effect um, to spell summon himself out. And then we'll do Swallow effect to summon out Swallow and the Cobalt. Unfortunately, I will not get a Cobalt search here. We'll go and overlay, make ourselves the Unsum Blue Robin, the new XYZ monster for the Lairless. And honestly, this is the only reason on why to play the new Lairless stuff. Because this card is actually kind of ridiculous. The fact that you can just return special summon monsters non-once per turn is kind of dumb. Uh, but uh, I'll pass it back to the Drytron player who draws beta for turn here. He will go ahead and activate Nova here. He will go ahead and uh, get himself a Zeta onto board. And he has all names on his current possession right now. Uh, he adds the ritual spell, but he can't. Uh, he'll shuffle back the ritual spell. I think he thought he can. I don't know. Kind of dumb there. Um, but it's whatever. He does a gam or Alpha Effect Tribute the Gamma here. Uh, add the Ben before he summons, whatever, he, it, it works out. He goes into a Link, into a Link Rebo, and then we'll do Gamma Effect Tribute the Ben 10 here. And then we'll go ahead and summon out Gamma and the Alpha. And we'll go ahead and do uh, Ben 10's effect here. Uh, search ourselves a Diviner of Herald. And then we'll normal summon the Diviner, declare the effect here. We'll send ourselves uh, Elders, Entities, and Tess. Uh, he tries to target the Unsum Bloon with it. You cannot because Cobalt, Paro, uh, Cobalt Sparrow gives it per uh, targeting protection. So he cannot target him. Now, technically, this sh he should target one of his own monsters because he is declaring the effect of Elder. So he should target one of his own monsters to pop. Uh, but that ends up just not happening. Uh, so, um, yeah, yeah. He should end up popping one of his own monsters. Uh, but, um, yeah, uh, that doesn't happen. He'll make a Verte, though. I will trigger on some Blue's effect to return Verte back into the extra deck. We'll do a Zeta effect here, tribute the Gamma, uh, summon out uh, Zeta, and then add the Ritual spell to him. And then we'll go ahead and activate the Ritual spell. We'll go ahead and uh, uh, tribute Alpha, summon the Ben 10 here. And then I go ahead and actually return the Ben 10 here as well. Because uh, Ben 10 can beat over uh, on some blue, so I just don't want to worry about it. And then he activates the ritual spell, target the Zeta, and go ahead and add the ritual spell back to him. And then he will go ahead and do uh, Beta's effect, tribute Ben 10 here. Uh, go ahead and summon out Beta. And then, of course, Ben 10's effect triggers here to search himself uh, um, an Ava here. And now here he goes to battle phase with Diviner. He just attacks over. Uh, they both blow up. Uh, I triggered the Ensemble Blue effect in Graveyard. Once it's destroyed, to add a Lairless monster back to hand. I go ahead and add a Warbler to him. And then he will go ahead and just go main two, make a, a Verte and a Conda. Uh, you will do Verte's effect. Pay 2k here. And then uh, looks in his deck and then sees he accidentally sighted out all the Dragoon package. So he can't make a Dragoon and he kind of already used all his resources 
into everything. So he just admits defeat on that. Very, very interesting that he cited out the Dragoon package. Again, he, one of his monsters was supposed to be popped as well. So he can't really make the Verte when one of your monsters should be popped by Elders. But again, we both missed that. So it's whatever. Uh, but uh, yeah, so doesn't uh, makes a Verte but forgets he actually cited out the Dragoon package. So uh, yeah, very interesting. Now we're going into the all-important uh, game three here. Winner takes all here. Uh, citing must be crucial, especially for me, the Littlest player, because Drytron's going first. You know, we need to cite in all those hand traps. And then, of course, the Drytron player will choose to go first here. And I look at the starting hand here. We'll go for the dry, or the uh, Littlest player first. Uh, Droll and Lockbird, Bird Call, DD Crow, Nerval, and Droll and Lockbird. Wow, what a what a what a hand to stop um, Drytron. And then we got uh, uh, for the Drytron Zeta Emergency Alpha called by an Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the game three here. He goes standby main phase. We'll go ahead and activate Alpha Tribute uh, the um, uh, Zeta here. Summon out the Alpha, and then we'll add uh, Ben Ten to hand here. And then on the resolution, I'll draw. He tries to call it by Drave, and I draw that as well. You do it to me. I'll do it back to you. Wow, it happened to both players, which must suck. And he passes turn on it. Wow, that's unfortunate. I go jack in the hand here uh, to reveal three. I will reveal Warbler, Cobalt Sparrow, and the uh, uh, Barrel Canary. He adds Warbler. I go ahead and add the Cobalt Sparrow, and I shuffle back the uh, Barrel Canary. I activate Bird Call, which gets Ash Blossomed here, which is fine because I can do a normal summon Nerval, link off into Link Rebo, trigger Nerval's effect here. Uh, to go ahead and uh, get ourselves a Karas to him. And then we'll go ahead and uh, actually uh, trigger Karas effect here. Uh, discard the Cobalt Sparrow to uh, spell summon out Karas. I summoned it in defense, unfortunately. Should have been an attack, but it's whatever. I actually triggered DD Crow here, uh, targeting the Zeta. This is so I can get three um, Winged Beast type monsters in my graveyard. So I can actually banish three. Uh, I'd banish, of course, the DD Crow, the Cobalt Sparrow, and the. Um, uh, Nerval to summon uh, some more gear. Go to battle phase. Link Rebo attack over Alpha. Hit for 24 directly here. We'll go main two. We'll go end phase. Trigger the uh, some more. Summon out the uh, bird statue here, which is unfortunately because it still can be targeted here because it's not under uh, the some more because Link Rebo is currently taking up that spot. He draws for Gamma for turn here. So he kind of can't really do anything right now. The Viner was kind of his only way to out this card. And he doesn't have it in hand, and he will go ahead and emit a defeat to that. Yeah, basically, uh, if he just passed it back to me, end phase of Morgue effect, get, you know, something like a Cobalt Sparrow, Cobalt uh, Sparrow add to hand, and then just keep comboing off from there and go for the OTK and stuff like that. So, yeah, he just emits a defeat, doesn't want to waste his time and stuff like that very much understandable. But, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content on the channel, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.